Good morning or good afternoon, Tigers. Today we'll be watching a video on Quizette 723. As always, please write your last name, comma, first name. Write today's date, which today will be February 6, 2018. Today I'll say I'm in red class. So on number one, you're going to be asked, what is the measure of the missing angle? So they're going to give you two angle measures, and there's going to be one angle measure that's missing. Some of you might remember that the area or the angle measure of every triangle is 180 degrees. So every single triangle, even if it's a tiny one like this, the angle measures, when they're added together, they all equal 180 degrees. Here, it didn't, kind, it didn't give you a very good picture, but this is a 90 degree angle right there. So when there's a 90 degree angle, you actually put a little box around it. Let me do it for you. Not a box, but kind of like half of a box, like that. And that's supposed to represent a 90 degree angle. Now the other angle measure that they give you is this 31 degree angle. So what you do is you add 90 degrees plus 31 degrees. So 90 degrees plus 31 degrees. And when you add that together, you get 121 degrees. So 121 degrees of this triangle have already been designated to an angle. So whatever is left is the measure of the missing angle, which is this one right here, the one with the question mark. So 180 minus 121, let's go ahead and do that. 10 minus 1 is 9, 7 minus 2 is 5, 1 minus 1 is 0, you don't have to write it. So the missing angle is 59 degrees. So we're just going to write maybe x right there. So the missing angle is x is equal to 59 degrees. You can write a sentence as well. And the missing angle is 59 degrees. If you notice there's no SMP on number one, that's because you're not required to write an SMP for number one. Let's look at number two. What is the area and perimeter of a rectangle that has a width of three and a length of four? So I'm gonna annotate this question first. It says, what is the area and perimeter of a rectangle that has a width of three and a length of four. So they didn't give me a picture. So the first thing I'm gonna do is model with my math, which is SMP4, and I'm going to draw or construct a picture. Excuse me, I'm gonna use my marker. Okay, so here's my rectangle. Remember, I'm not an artist, so I'm just gonna draw something that looks like a rectangle. There you go. And it says that the length is four, so the length would be here, four, and the width is three. Okay, the area of a rectangle, if some of you remember, is area equals length times width. And in this case, our length is four, and our width is three. Four times three is 12. Miss Molina, I didn't need the picture to show that. Well, in this case, you might not need the picture, but you wanna get into the habit of drawing a picture because as mathematicians, you need to be able to represent your math with an actual model in order for your actual math to make sense. So get yourself used to drawing the picture. I want you to draw the picture, even if you don't need it. The perimeter, the perimeter is just all of the sides added together. So why don't we add all the sides together? We have three plus three plus four plus four. And you can do it in any order. So let's say you want to go in uh, the clockwise direction and you want to go 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 4. It's the same thing. You're going to add all that together. So I'm going to do the first one. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. So the perimeter is 14. Now here I modeled with math. I drew a picture. So go ahead and write SMP4 model with mathematics. All right, number three. What is the area of a triangle that has a base of four and a height of three? So again, I'm gonna model with my math and I'm going to draw a picture that represents this scenario. I have a triangle. It doesn't say if it's a right triangle, an equilateral, an isosceles or anything, so I'm just drawing a triangle. It says that it has a base of four and the base is the bottom of the triangle and the height is this line that I'm representing right here, and that's three. Now, 
the formula for a triangle, the way I remember it, is think of a square. Just think of a square. Go ahead and draw this. A square. The area of a square is length times width, right? Now let's say you're going to cut that square in half. Let's cut it in half like this. What shape do you get? How many shapes do you get there? You have two shapes. You have one triangle right here, and then you have another triangle right here. So the area of this triangle, this green one or this yellow one, would be one half of the length times the width. So the area of a triangle is area equals one half of the length times the width. Now here's a trick I like to teach you guys, or a strategy. Just do length times width first. So here we have four and three. Four times three is 12, okay? And then multiply that by one half. Now when you multiply by one half, that's the same thing as dividing by two. So how many times does two go into 12? Six. But if you don't like what I just did, you can multiply straight across. 12 times one is 12. Two, uh, two times one is two. Two goes into 12 how many times? Six. So this is just a strategy I like to use. When I multiply by one half, that really just means divide by two. All right, Tigers, I'm just gonna restate that you have a sub today, so I want you to do your best to stay on task to earn marbles. You are going to be doing Tuesday's Quizette because today is Tuesday, even though I showed you Monday's Quizette. So you're gonna complete Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday number one, Tuesday number two, Tuesday number three. Do not go ahead on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. You don't have to worry about that. Thank you.